This is a bit of a new thing for me. Made it to Primark. Oh, they've got the oh so elusive <laughs> Mickey Waffle Maker here. So if it looks like I've been in some sort of bare knuckle fight, that is why. Hi guys, Re here from mummyofbefore.com. Welcome back to another vlog. Just a very chatty sort of day in the life kind of vlog for you today. I've got some work to do, I've got some housework to do, I've got some errands to run, taking some bits back to some shops, and so I thought we'd do a little bit of shopping too. So I thought I would bring you along with me so you can keep me company through the day. So my husband has taken the children to school this morning, he was leaving at that time going that way anyway, so I can get ready in peace and have a chat to you lovely people. Anyone else's lips, by the way, crazy dry at this time of year. Now before we head out, I need some jewellery. Luckily I have got some beautiful new pieces from Anna Luisa. Now if you have been around here for a little while, you've seen my vlogs before, you'll know I've got a lot of Anna Luisa jewellery and I just adore it. But I've got a few new beautiful pieces I wanted to show you. Anna Luisa offers exceptional quality, tarnish free and long lasting pieces. They have premium details and only use the best noble metals. With fair prices and no luxury markups, starting at just $39. And yes, don't worry, they sell here in the UK too. And they've currently got a Black Friday promotion. If you use the link down in the description, then you will be able to access their discounts. So if you are shopping for Christmas for friends and family, they've got some beautiful pieces, really, really reasonable prices, especially with a sale discount, but really high quality, beautiful jewelry. So this is one of the gorgeous pieces. This is quite bluey and what I'm wearing today is greeny. I think that would go. Do you think that would go guys? Would that go? What do we think? So that's a maybe for today. Or we've got this one, which is like the little tiny, delicate little linking hoops. Could wear that one today. That would go quite nicely, don't you think? Something about putting jewelry on in the morning just makes me feel a bit more put together, even if I'm not feeling very put together. Um, and then this one, I'm actually leaning towards this beautiful kind of sparkly teardrop necklace. It's just so pretty. Shall I wear that one? What do you think? Which one actually goes better with the, with the greenie? This one, this one I'm gonna kind of Cinderella vibes from. Actually, I don't know. They could both go, let's face it. Although the earrings I've got picked out, also from Ana Luisa, these are ones I've had before. These are not a recent addition, but I do believe you can still get them on the website. These are just tiny little hoops. I'm gonna put gold hoops in, so I'm gonna go with the gold necklace, I think. There we go. I'm so indecisive being a Libra. Obviously the wings girls bounce everything up. Trying to make a decision for anything at all is almost impossible, look. How cute are they? So make sure you check out the Anna Luisa link down in the description below. Let me know in the comments which pieces you've got your eye on and um, if you are purchasing for a present for Christmas for somebody or just a little gift for yourself, let's face it, you probably deserve something. This one that I'm definitely getting kind of blue kind of Cinderella vibes from, love that. I shall wear that perhaps tomorrow. Does mean sometimes I do end up dressing depending on which jewelry I want to wear. Do you do that? You've got like a bag or a piece of jewelry or something, you have to base your outfit around that. So I need to look for something blue that I can wear to go with this because I love it. Anyway, nearly time to start the day. Probably could do with some lipstick of some description first. So I'm just gonna use a little lip pencil. Um, I often get asked which ones these are. This one is a MAC one and it's really blunt. Oh, that's a bit better. It's like trying to draw my lips with a finger otherwise. So uh, today I've got to take some bits back to Georgia Asda. If you saw this video where I did a little shop with me in Georgia Asda, or this video, which was a big Christmas haul, you'll know that I bought a few bits and pieces and a couple of the Christmassy items, when I tried them on, they just weren't right. So I'm gonna take those back. And there were one or two bits I regretted not getting. So I might head and pick those up instead. Okay, what have we got now? Pinky Nuffy. I'm done. I did actually put a little bit of foundation on earlier, 
but then it was breakfast time the children needed me and I ran out of time to do the rest gosh it is so peaceful and quiet isn't it getting ready after they've gone to school I do miss them and it is still a little bit of an adjustment since they've started school but I'm kind of getting used to it I'm definitely able to get a lot more done I was stuck in that baby phase for such a long time where I had a baby or toddler with me without a break back to back back to back having so many children so it is really weird being able to go places by myself, like being able to get into the car and then just leave. Like leaving the house is just like, I think I'll leave the house. And then I do. It's really quick. But I grab my mask because we still need those here in Wales. And if you're wondering what on earth I did to my hand, I tripped in the dark. I was picking my son up from a friend's house, tripped on a little bit of uneven ground, bust my left knee. It wasn't really serious other than it did make a hole in my jeans and a couple of holes in my hands. So if it looks like I've been in some sort of bare knuckle fight, that is why. Now enough chatting. I've still got work to do. I've got these errands to run. I've got washing to do. Let's go and get on with it. Can I just say at this point that although I do laundry every day, as you know, if you follow me on Instagram, you see my stories, I'm always going on about put a load on every day. And I always do because I hate the overwhelm of having it build up. Now while I always wash every day, I don't always sort and fold every day. So what's supposed to happen is so that everything's supposed to come out of the dryer and go immediately into the box behind me. Each family member has their own box. In practice, when I'm very busy with working and school runs and things, I often take things out of the dryer and dump it here. So there's excessive amounts of laundry to be sorted. Now, because I need to get going, get out so that I can get back, I'm gonna procrastinate this again. I'm gonna do what I shouldn't do, and I'm going to dump whatever's currently in the dryer in this big pile here, but I have to sort it later, guys. You have to make me do it later because this is insane. So when I get on top of it, I then think, right, I've only got one little load from the washing machine, I'm gonna stay on top of it. But clutter attracts clutter, guys. This is why I like clean surfaces because as soon as there's a bit there, I just add to it, which I'm about to do again, and then dash out. But when I get back, I'm gonna sort it. So I'm now going to change the battery on my camera, make sure I've got a freshly charged up light. I'm actually gonna change the lens on my camera because the lens I'm using at the moment, I tend to use for more tripod filming because it's a little bit close in for handheld stuff. I'm gonna swap for a different lens. When I'm out and about, I do sometimes just use my little G7X camera because it's just so small and portable. I do still put the microphone on it generally. Sometimes I attach a light to it. It is smaller. The only thing is, I find that the image quality, sometimes the focus isn't as good when I use this camera. So this is just my debate, which you probably don't care about at all. Probably doesn't bother you in the slightest, but which camera I use to do what, it's like a constant source of debate for me. Also, before we go, can we just appreciate my puffy sleeves that my husband calls my are you auditioning for Dynasty in that sleeves? Personally, I quite enjoy Dynasty and uh, wouldn't mind auditioning for it in the slightly. If you haven't seen that show, catch it immediately. It's ultimate guilty pleasure, brilliant list. Anyway, enough chatting. Let's hop in the car and head off to the shops, take those bits back, have a little look around, see what we can see before we come back to get on with the dreaded washing and a bit of work. Well, on the way, while I was driving, I made a decision that I would nip to Primark before heading to Georgia Asda to take some bits back. So I've come to Primark first. This is a bit of a new thing for me. I've had so many years and I've adored them and I've been very lucky to have them where I've had babies with me and children with me. I've always had prams and things, often multiple children. And nipping was just never something I did. I always planned wherever I was gonna go. And I'd think, right, okay, I've gotta get the post office, gotta go here, gotta go there. Where can I go to get all of those things done in one place? And I would park the car once, I would get them out of the car once, assembled into prams and various things. I would take the shortest possible route, taking into account where I can change nappies, feed babies and all those things. And I would never nip anywhere not even to take to do fuel, things like making sure there was fuel in the car, I'd always like, right, okay, I've got to make sure there's enough fuel so I wouldn't have to stop and just do unnecessary taking the children in and out of the car. And now, as much as I've grieved, I have, you know, I like 
Zara going full time has been a bit like, oh, it's been difficult. There are upsides to it. I can now work during the hours of daylight. I no longer have to get up at four in the morning to work, which is cool. And I can nip places, which I'm still getting used to. I'm still remembering I can do that. So I'm going to nip into Primark because I'm still on the lookout for those Mickey Mouse baubles that we saw in Primark in Manchester in the Trafford Centre. I have my husband with me, he doesn't like queuing, so I didn't stop and get them, should have done. And literally by the time we walk back past them, they'd gone. So I'm gonna nip in, see if they've got those. Then I will um, go to Georgia Asda after that. May even nip somewhere else after that. Imagine, the possibilities are endless. Made it to Primark. Now let's have a look to see if we can find these mini mouse Christmas baubles that I regret not buying. They've got lots of these gold ones. They've got some nice green ones down here, whites and silvers, and a nice set with red. But none of these are the Minnie Mouse ones I was looking for. Uh, they have got in stock here the cake stands I've seen everywhere. Now, I've not seen these before. I have got a similar, are they pink? We've got a pink one of Mickey shapes. These are Minnie Mouse shapes. Supposed to be for cookies? These for cookies? A cookie mould. Oh, maybe they're worth a try. Is that worth a go? And then also a silicon cake mould. I have got a Mickey cake tin, which is not a silicon mould, um, but a metal mould from Georgia Asda. Maybe we'll try the mini ones. That way we can have a Mickey and a mini. Oh, they've got the oh so elusive Mickey waffle maker here. Now I must admit, I managed to get my hand on one of these. I have got one of these. I will perhaps show you when we get home. If you saw my Primark shop with me in Horbury, you know my auntie picked me up the other kind, the grid kind. But these waffle makers only make one at a time. And obviously we've got six of us in the house, so two waffle makers on the go at once. It means we can actually churn them out at a rate to actually feed everyone breakfast. So I'll show you that when we get back. These are nice. I've got to say the Christmas range in Primark is really good. Bubble fidget thing. Anyone else's children obsessed with these fidget popper things? They've got a really good selection of advent calendars here in this one. This Harry Potter one's lovely. And then we've got 12 Days of Christmas. What's in here? I'm not sure. Oh, here we go. 12 Days of Christmas. Does it open? I'm not sure what's in there. It doesn't really say. There's this fillable one, which is really, really nice. And a really traditional looking wooden one with little wooden houses. They're really, really sweet. Oh, loving all this chocolate stuff as stocking fillers. There's a chocolate pizza kit, build your own castle, sweet and chocolate pizza kit. So that's a slightly different one. Really cool little stocking fillers. And a Reese's, what's this? A cast iron skillet. What's that for? Does anyone know? Such lovely Christmas bits. The star's really cool. We're looking for a shelf or something. Got a winter scene in it. We've got a massive pet section. We've got a pet teepee, grey pet teepee, loads of gifts for pets. We don't actually have pets. I've got too many children to have pets. But if you've got pets, lots of good gifts. Oh, this is the snuddy I've seen all over Instagram. So basically, it's like a dressing gown meeting a blanket meeting a jumper just like a giant dressing gown that doesn't open the front it does look cozy though if you're not into Winnie the Pooh they've got lots of pizza and indeed avocado snuddies oh, they've always got such lovely stationery fear I may need one of these books look it's really substantial four pounds look at all that space for making lovely notes I think I need one what do you think oh how about this a to-do list that's nice. That's nice. A little to-do list. Could keep that in the kitchen and then everyone could know what I'm supposed to be doing. And maybe some of my family could do some of it. That would be good. I do love that. Or, <gasps> look at this. These make fab gifts, guys. Really nice. Oh, look, this one's got like sticky notes at the front. That is adorable. It's like little mini stationery sets with scissors and things. Cute ballpoint pens. Ah, oh, these are sweet as well. Ooh, 
Maybe we need some of these pens. They look gorgeous. I love this kind of muted rose gold Minnie Mouse. A really nice selection of Harry Potter bits and Marvel things as well. If you've got Harry Potter or Marvel fans in your house and looking for stocking fillers. And if you're looking for the toasters or the Mickey waffles, I've actually found some more in a different place. So this is more with the homeware stuff rather than with the Christmas gifts. So it's worth looking in a couple of places in store if you can't find them or perhaps just asking a member of staff. Ah, boys Christmas jumpers. See if they've got different ones than the ones I had last time. See, William would probably still like a dinosaur, only that probably, they seem to only go up to little sizes. I like the boys' jumpers that got to little sizes, like William's still wear that. But, the ones I like always only go up to not as big as William. William would probably wear the Buzz Lightyear one. But that's only up to tiny. William needs like a 10 to 11 or something. But none of these seem to be big enough for him. Yeah, see these bigger ones. I'm already on it. Maybe that. The Christmas loading seems a bit like a gaming one. He's really not into gaming. Maybe this one? Do you think we're going to like the penguins? Well, that's for the girls, is it? Section, I think, isn't it? I did buy these boots for the girls before because I wanted something a bit like Uggs. Oh, I said they were £9. They were only 7 Good grief. They're really good. The girls absolutely adore them. They wear them without socks when Bella goes to karate and when they go swimming to save me having to bother with flapping with socks. £7. I wanted something like Uggs, but Uggs were about £100, so I didn't really want to buy £100 of Uggs for the girls. So those are amazing and highly recommend them. I think Zara's got a size 8, that's a size 7. The Zara's are quite ditty. I think Bella's got a 2 maybe, but they are gorgeous. And I'd actually wear those if they had them in my size, which sadly they don't. Done in Primark, I will show you what I bought when I get home. Now, just popped into Asda, got a couple of bits to take back, and a couple of bits I want to look for as well. This is the stuff I wanted to look at. I bought these in those last videos, which you would have seen in the shop with me and the hauls. I wonder if I need these cutters, maybe, for making cookies or icing. And actually, when I did make that cake, I'll explain a bit more when we get home, I realized my utensils were a bit sketchy to do with some of those. Now, also, I didn't have a tin big enough to put the Mickey shaped cake in. I ended up having to eat a bit, cut a bit, and put it in a smaller box. So, I think you might need one of those tins. Oh, it's actually two tins. That's cool. Two tins, 650. Might need that. Plus my whole house is pink and white and grey. I may need a rolling pin for rolling out icing because I don't have one of those. And I'm kind of in love with this mixing bowl. Do I need one of those? It says it's temporarily out of stock. That's a lie, isn't it? It's just a lie. Do you know what I might actually do? Is treat myself to some new Pyrex jugs. Because mine are so bad, I have to hold it up to the light to see where the indents are from where the writing once was, because it's all been, I don't know, taken off by the dishwasher or something. It's pretty much guesswork with my Pyrex jugs at the moment. Now these are the plates that I did buy in that haul video. I had to buy two boxes of them because there are six of us and obviously there's only four place settings there. But we were really short on plates. We literally had six of everything. So if we had any guests or anything in the dishwasher, it was a mess. So we've got enough now and it matches my house beautifully. Do I need these? I adore them. We do have plain white ones. And in fact, we didn't smash many of those. We've actually got more than six of those. So I guess we can do without those, which is why I haven't bought them so far. Now I so nearly bought this set and then I'd have to put that stuff away over Christmas and get this stuff out and then swap it around. But it seems a bit excessive. It's 40 pounds. I'd have to buy two sets of it. I adore it. I'd put it away after Christmas and get it back out. It would all be very exciting. It's very beautiful. It's got matching bowls. But oh, I haven't so far. I haven't sort of warranted it, but oh, it's tempting, isn't it? Ooh, just spotted this knife set. This looks good. Everyone's always asking where I get my knives from. They're not this exact make, I don't think, but they look very similar. I think mine have covers on them, but these do look rather good. £26. So if you're looking for new knives, they're kind of cool. This festive dinner set's quite nice too, and this one is only £20. Lots of other dinner sets as well, non-festive, but last time I did also see a, a grey festive one as well. Quite like Dalmatians. Not Christmassy, but very cute. Our adorable festive drinkware. Santas and penguins and all sorts. Oh, do we need Mickey and Minnie gin glasses? Quite possibly, quite possibly. The snow scene gin is quite good, isn't it? Quite like that. And is this a snowman drink dispenser? 
plus all of these lovely lovely Christmassy drinking glasses and indeed Disney ones. Ah, uh, this was the Christmassy grey set I also quite liked. Really nice mugs and jugs and other things. Look, polar bears and Santa's sleigh on it. Really cute. Oh, look, adorable. And I do like the gingerbread men as well. Home now, so it's time to show you what I have bought. Let's start with the bits and pieces I picked up in Primark. Now, bear in mind, there are always some bits and pieces that I can't share on my YouTube channel because although my videos are not made for children, they are sometimes watched by children and some of those children are my children. So when it comes to Christmas and birthdays and things, things that I've bought them, I don't share on here. But if you check out my Instagram, both my main and my Disney, then that is where I share things for my family that I may have bought because none of my family use Instagram. My children certainly don't. So go and check that out after you have seen this video. Let's start with the Primark bits, shall we? I'm always so thirsty after shopping. I don't know if it's the heat in there, the wearing the masks indoors. I'm not sure what it is. Always makes me super thirsty. So the first thing I got was this muffin container. So it's a cookie mold, it says it is, not muffins. It's got Minnie Mouse bows in it. So I guess you just put a little bit of cookie dough in the bottom and it makes cookie mold. I did have a similar one of these, a pink one. I did buy in Primark actually. This one, which is Mickey, which I bought um, when I knit there the other day with the children. And I don't think this one actually had the cardboard on it to see what it was supposed to be. I tried making jellies in it which was, I mean, disastrous, is putting it mildly. The children ate the jelly out of it and it tasted fine, but it was an absolute Pinterest fail moment. So um, I think it said these were silicon cake molds, but perhaps we'll try them for cookies. Perhaps we'll give that a go as cookies. Then I've got this large Minnie Mouse. This one does say it is a silicon cake mold. Now, the other things I wanted to show you. These were the cake tins that I was talking about. I've got two of those that I bought in Georgia Asda. So size wise, eh, not dissimilar. So I already made a cake out of these. I actually made two cakes and put them together with jam, like a sandwich and put icing on the top. It was very yummy, but I think my children might do better with just two thinner cakes. But I'll put icing on one chocolate on the other because they found that the thick sponge with the jam was quite a lot for them to eat and the bottom half that was just jam, they were less fast on than the top half with the icing. So I think in future, although a sandwich cake is nice, I'll just do two thinner ones in future. And then I got a couple of notebook type bits. I got this to-do list, which I'm going to strategically leave around my home with things I'm supposed to do. And I'm gonna see if any of my family decide to do any of those things. Laundry, putting away groceries, that kind of thing. It's it could work, it could work. I know, I'm probably being delusional. I got this for my desk because I absolutely love it. The colours are beautiful and it's got lots of like divider bits. So I thought I could have notes, a place to scribble for different projects. So I thought maybe I could have one for like ideas for like my main Instagram, my Disney Instagram, my main YouTube channel, my Disney YouTube channel, that kind of thing. That's my thinking with that, that I will scribble lovely ideas and things in it. And that's only four pounds. And it's quite substantial, I feel, for four pounds. Oh, and I also got these rather lovely pens as well. Four pens, they were two pound 50. And they're going in my pretty pen pot in my office. I did promise when we were in Primark, didn't I, that I would show you the waffle maker. So I will get those out and show you those after I've put all this stuff away, because some of this stuff's gonna have to go in the dishwasher before we can use it. I got rather a lot in Georgia Asda. <laughs> Um, let's shove this over here so I can show you. Okay, let's start with these. Now, in the um, Disney haul that I shared on my Disney channel, I did buy two of these, um, and I realized we have two bathrooms, and I like to have one on and one in the wash. So um, I got another two, basically. One of them is in all these bags somewhere. So two of these, I'm gonna put these through the wash and just put them out as nice hand towels in the downstairs bathroom and the upstairs bathroom. I got my cake tin, which was pretty much the only thing I actually wanted to go in for. It's actually two cake tins, nestled one within the other. The reason I wanted this cake tin is when I made my Mickey cake, it wasn't big enough. Oh no, it's not actually gonna fit. 
it will won't it without the ridge that will fit won't it if you imagine it just being that fit that cake will fit i hope that cake fits i hope they're both in the same place i will have to make a cake and see if it fits and report back it's gonna be fine it's gonna be fine i'm sure it'll fit i have faith it will fit i got some of these cookie cutters um i think we could make cookies out of them but the other thing i thought we could do is do roll out icing to go on this kind of cake or to go on cookies or whatever and then cut out the icing because i love roll out icing fondant icing the kind that goes on birthday cakes is my guilty pleasure i love birthday cakes so much because it's the only time you get that fondant icing i adore it so the reason i bought this rolling pin is because for some reason i didn't have a rolling pin i think our old rolling pin was a bit scabby and i throw it out during the move so i've got this this i think is the only thing that isn't dishwasher safe so this is just going to have a little hot soapy water um, before we try it the idea is i'm going to use this to roll out fondant icing for cakes and cookies and things like that then i got ah my pyrex jugs my Pyrex jugs. I got two of those. Where's the other one? I got two new Pyrex jugs because I'm so sick of guessing the measurements. Now, I was not joking. Let me show you. This is my old Pyrex jug. Can you see the measurements on there? If you hold it to the light, you can sort of see where they were once. And that started off like this. So I think it was about time for a new one. That is why I need Pyrex jugs. I was not joking when I said it was a dire situation. And then I got some utensils. These are all dishwasher safe, so I'm gonna bung them on the dishwasher now. They've all got Mickey heads on them. We've got a spoon for use with um, non-stick things and things because it is silicon, not metal. A spatula, because I realized my, I didn't have a spatula anymore for some reason. I've not done loads of baking since we moved and getting back to doing a bit of baking is like, okay, I need a spatula for scooping the last of the remnants out of the bowl before uh, finishing off the cake and a whisk. I mean, I didn't really need the whisk, but I kind of felt like I needed the set. Then I got this bowl, which goes with my kitchen beautifully and also has hidden Mickeys on it. So this would actually work if I wanted to put out treats and things. It would sit nicely on the countertop and not look out of place. Um, but also I thought I would use it as a mixing bowl for making cakes. Put that there. Leave that there. Oh, there's the second towel. Ah, now I got one of these bowls, just one. And my thinking behind this was, if I wanted to put something on the table and we were using these bowls and things, then this would go quite nicely because we have already got pasta bowls that are plain white. Um, also, I can use this for my lunch. <laughs> my lunch. I'm gonna wash that out now actually and have some lunch in a second. And then the other bits I got are for my tree. So I've got fillable baubles to go on my Christmas tree and our Christmas tree theme overall, we have two Christmas trees, one in the lounge and one in the dining room. And the overall theme, much like the rest of the house is silver and pink. So I managed to find some bags of silver coins in Asda. And these, I mean, I'm not sure if they're gonna taste nice because they've got popping candy in them, but they're pink Christmas puddings. So I thought they would be cool inside the fillable baubles and dreadful for teeth but look pretty on the tree pink candy cane so i was quite pleased with those i now need to put all of this stuff away a lot of it needs to go in the dishwasher actually have a bit of lunch i do have to tackle that washing still it's not going to go away and i still got some work to do oh, do i have to oh do i have to right better get on with it Where there have been a lot of Disney in this vlog and in the shop with me and the haul and things and I did have a comment before when I had a similar video with lots of Disney on it saying there's lots of Disney in this that belong to your Disney channel and then my response to that was initially yes I worried a lot about what goes on my main channel what goes on my Disney channel but before I had a Disney channel I talked about Disney on this channel a lot. I set up the Disney channel mainly for the when we're going to Disney vlogs because there's going to be a lot. So if you like Disney, do make sure you're subscribed over there. There's going to be a lot of vlogs. I did two vlogs per day on the cruise. I think I'm planning to do the same in Florida. So that would be a lot, a lot of Disney. Now that would be too much Disney for this channel. However, to incorporate it within other videos, no one made up a rule saying I, I couldn't incorporate it in other videos. The only person that made up that rule was me. And then my channels. And as someone pointed out on Instagram, I can actually do 
whatever I want with my channels. So actually to not include any Disney at all on my main channel when I do love it almost seems a little inauthentic and a little forced to kind of relegate it all over. So I'm, I'm aware Disney's a little bit mar like Marmite, I guess, and people either love it or they hate it. But I do love it. And I think it's kind of part of me. So I'm gonna give myself a break if it makes its way into some of my main channel videos. Although if you do love Disney, then obviously it's a lot more Disney on my Disney channel. And I've now said Disney so many times that the word has lost all meaning. And I very nearly forgot to show you these. Now, as you can see, the Mickey face waffle maker is a lot larger than the Mickey shaped waffle that is kind of a grid type waffle. But the face waffles come out thinner than the grid waffles. So I think they kind of have the same amount of waffle mix that they take. Now I've said waffle so many times, it doesn't even make sense. But basically, it's the same amount of size of waffle, it's just this one makes them flatter and this one makes them smaller and thicker. So these are the waffle makers out of the box. As you can see, the Mickey face one is kind of thinner and the other one with the grid has this clunky bit, which the face one doesn't have, but it is a lot thicker. Now I actually bought waffle mix on Amazon and it was so easy. All I had to do was add water and oil. So I will link the one we used below. I just thought if we're gonna be doing it for weekend breakfast, I don't wanna be having to make everything from scratch and that made the whole process a lot easier. So the children were really pleased with those and I was just really pleased to be able to bring a little bit of Disney magic like we had on the cruise in the form of Mickey waffles to our weekend breakfasts. I've got to say, I can't even tell you how happy I was to find these. I was looking for them for quite a while before I managed to get my hands on some. They've been all over Instagram and everyone is on the lookout for them. Forgot to say, I also bought a random two packs of teaspoons because where do all the teaspoons go? I think we're down to two. Two teaspoons. Where do they all go? Someone said, that their children throw yogurt pots into the bin and the teaspoons sometimes follow them. That could be it. But I normally put my children's yogurt pots away, so where do the teaspoons go? Lunch time. And I am gonna have from the freezer, I bought these from Iceland. Now I'm not doing Slimming World. I've not, in fact, I've never done Slimming World. Um, but a friend of mine had, and she said it's all about eating loads and loads of veggies. So I saw these in Iceland and they're called lunch bowls. And basically you just bung that whole thing in the microwave and it's hot food and it is crammed full of veggies, which is what I like. Um, so when I am having a day where I'm working from home, so it's just me to feed, and it's cold and horrible outside. This is quite a nice lunch. Now, before I sit down to do some work, I am going to tackle this ridiculous pile of laundry behind me and I'm going to sort everything directly from the dryer from now on. Straight into the box is where it's supposed to go and I'm not gonna procrastinate that. You don't believe me, do you? I don't believe me either. I 
think it's time I finally get on with a bit of work before I go and pick up my children from school. Thank you so much to Anna Luisa for working with me to bring you this video. Make sure you check out their beautiful jewellery and their Black Friday sale in the link below down in the description. And thank you to you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this vlog. Make sure you check out another video. Choose one from on screen now and I shall see you guys over there. Bye.